Now before we start learning about new HTML elements, I want to talk a little bit about nesting, which is a really important topic with how we write our HTML and just how things work within HTML. And we already have some nesting going on that we just didn't know about. But as an example of nesting, first of all, I have my HTML element, and then this head is inside of my HTML element. So we would say that the head is nested inside of the HTML element. Then I have my title, and my title is nested inside of the head right here. And with nesting, we also highlight this and show it through the indentation that's going on right here. So you can see I have my HTML, then when we're one level nested, we have this space that's coming and the head is right there. And then we get to the title and we're going another space over to show just visually, it makes it a lot easier to see when things are inside of other things. And there's a few important things that happen when we are nesting things. And to sort of highlight that idea, I'm gonna come in with a really simple example at the bottom of my page, or simple, I should say silly example. Uh, at the bottom of my page here, using fake elements, <laughs> which are, uh, if we had a BLT sandwich, and so if we were doing a BLT sandwich, we'd have our bread, and then inside of our bread, we have our bacon, our lettuce, and our tomato. With nesting and with what we're doing here, the one thing that's important is not only are we nesting our elements, so my bacon is inside of my bread, but it wouldn't make any sense for my lettuce to be inside of my bacon, right? <laughs> so this, this doesn't make any sense right now. And there are times where we have other elements nested inside of other elements. We're gonna have deep nesting, but when it comes to our content, like we've been doing so far with say our paragraphs and our heading levels, we can't start our paragraph here if our H2 isn't closed, right? So if I were to take my H2 and like say all of my paragraphs here are in my heading, just logically that doesn't make very much sense. And so we won't nest something like that. So it's really important that we open and close our elements before we bring in the next element that we want. And again, sometimes we're gonna be making boxes around things to organize things. So then we want them, you know, you have a whole bunch of stuff, sort of like I did here with my bread, I'm putting a whole bunch of things in my bread. In that context, it makes sense. So you do need to think about what the elements are and how they're being used. It's all very logical, it makes sense. So don't worry too much about that side of things. The other thing that's really important here and something I want you to practice a little bit with your editor is when we're writing our code, VS Code helps us out through what we call indentation. And that's that spacing that I was talking about along the way here. And you can see when I'm highlighting that, you'll see you can be getting two dots showing up within that highlight. And then I have four dots here. And that's because VS Code's actually adding spaces. If you highlight an empty space or if you make a whole bunch of empty spaces and you highlight it, you'll see those empty spaces appearing there. And what I mean by that is, let's say I delete all of this. And so we have our doc type that we don't want to forget. So doc type HTML at the top of the page. And then if I came here and I do HTML, when I push return on my keyboard now, you'll notice that VS Code is automatically indenting that inside of here. I didn't do that. And it's going, well, I know that you're inside of another element. So I'm going to put this indentation for you. And then we can put my head. And then if I go inside my head, when I push return, we get the indentation that happens and I can do my title right there. And so, you know, another, another website. <laughs> What's gonna happen though sometimes when you're doing this is let's say I come on and I do my body and then maybe I forget to push return. So I come in with my H1 and I say uh, my site, whatever. It doesn't really matter too much on the content, but I do this. And first of all, this is harder to read now because I have my body, then my H1, it's just a little bit awkward. If you don't have a lot of code, it's not the end of the world, I guess, but it, it will get harder and harder to read and HTML, you tend to have a lot of it. So it's really important that we organize it properly. So I would come here and make sure that, you know, I push enter. So it's doing the proper job of, of nesting it. And VS Code is going to try and do this automatically. And it's going to add this indentation all by itself. But sometimes you might do something and it doesn't end up working the way you want it to, or you paste in some code and the indentation of things might be a little bit broken or not working properly. And so when you're pasting in things or something like it could, you know, say this happens when you paste it in uh, and the indentation is not proper there. What you can do is you can go before your text and hit tab and it's going to start indenting it for you. So every time I hit tab, it's going to jump it four spaces as a default. And if I push back, it's actually deleting all four of those spaces at once. So I'm just pushing my delete button to go back one, delete button again to go back one uh, to where it was. So we can tab and go back through our tabs really easily. And so let's just, I'm gonna undo all the changes I just did here to go back to what we had previously. And so having all of my content here again, uh, another thing that we can do is you might wanna do this with a large amount and you don't wanna have to come on one of these and then tab and then tab and then tab. If you do need to fix your indentation, you can actually grab a, a whole bunch of text, just select everything you want 
and then push tab and it's gonna move them all over in one go, which is really convenient. Or now if I push delete, because I have selected text, it deleted everything. So it doesn't remove that extra indentation that I wanted to do. What we can actually do is a shift tab. And when you shift tab, it will indent backwards. So tab goes one way, shift tab goes the other way. And right now we don't have anything too complicated going on. So everything's probably okay. But you know, you might have a body that's over here for some reason, or your body might even be over here. Because uh, for some reason VS Code keeps trying to put my body right there. So I'm gonna push tab there and I go, oh, but actually my indentation's wrong everywhere. So tab, then I can grab all of this, hit tab and move all of them over and start cleaning this up a little bit. And even on these, you know, grab all of that, tab that over and now everything is good. All of this indentation will not change anything in the browser. Everything here is exactly the same. It just makes it a lot easier for us to read while we're looking at our documents, especially as we start creating more complicated layouts and getting into more levels of nesting. It just makes your life so much easier. So from the very beginning, make sure you're organizing things properly.